What's up guys? AMR Gaming is here I'm back for some more Judgment gameplay. We're starting chapter 9. I don't remember what happened last chapter. I think last chapter we were did, I think we fought um we found a hammer up in some sort of underground. Like I think it was like underground or something. We beat his ass. And that's not pretty much the only thing I can remember. But they're gonna do a recap. So let's get this popping. Yep. Oh, got Kumi. Was Hamura's personal we still gotta assassin. try to find them all. Who I don't know who, who the Mo is. With a mounting threat behind them. Oh, yep. Yagami and Kaito are forced to cut ties with Matsugane. Mm hmm. And the two set foot down a path of no return. Look at that. Finally, the name of a mastermind bubbles to the surface. The man is an AD9 researcher. Yoji it's this guy? Not that guy. I think it was the other guy we gotta try to get hold of. I think, I think that was the guy we're trying to get hold of. Um, not sure, so, but whatever. Let's go. Smoke continues to billow out of the Champion District fire as we speak. The apparent cause is a small explosion which took place in a covert gambling hall not long ago. Mm -hmm. Eyewitnesses claim they heard the sound of explosives being detonated in the establishment. However, the building was deserted by the time firefighters and police arrived on the scene. With the horror of gang violence still fresh in our minds, the incident only raises tension across the city. Mm, sounds like the plan didn't go so well. Absolutely not. They were desperate. Still, we did manage to talk to Hamra. Which is how you found out Shona was the one giving him orders, right? Not Director Kido. Yeah, at least that's a look he was giving us. You can tell that just from a look. Give me a break. I don't know how else to put it. Mm. Well, I guess that look is all we have to go off. Hey, did you come to taunt me or help me? <laughs> don't be mean, Yagami-san. Of course I came to help. Help how? Say, don't be mean. I Don't found be. someone who's an expert on AD9. Oh. Looking into that research paper might be our best shot at finding more leads. Okay, okay. I don't know about you, but I can't understand a word of what it says. Yeah, same. But I found somebody who can. I'm impressed. Good work, Hoshino-kun. Just don't get mad, okay? Is that a girl? Mad? Why would I get mad? Well, the expert I found... Oh. It's Hattori san. Oh, guy, guy. You kind of hate. What? Oh, damn it. Please, he's written a lot of articles on 89 and has interviewed all the top medical researchers. That guy? Seriously? <laughs> this has got to be some kind of. He, I don't like his look. He, he looks. He, the guy looks fishy. I don't like if the guy look. Yeah. I've got his name already. Whatever his name is. Yeah, you know what? Let's drop it. I don't care about the paper. <laughs> Yagami san. What? That research could contain vital information for this case we're building. This isn't an opportunity we can afford to miss. But if we ask him for help now, he's going to want something in return later. Hattori san's waiting for you at Kyushu number one. God star. damn it. Apparently, he's doing a story on them. Come on, Yagami san. Get going. Everything's all set up. Just got to go meet this guy. Hmm. Who is this from? I don't know. Oh my god, this guy Kim. I swear this guy Kim is so annoying. I don't give a shit, Kim. God. Crap, what do I do? What do you do? You just freaking leave them alone. That's what you do. Okay. Let's, oh, I see something over here. Let's talk. Oh, there you go. Your ramen social media. Ramen picture. Hattori san. Hattori san. Hmm? No. <laughs> I didn't notice you there, Yagami-san. Don't tell hmm. me you're using a phone camera to take pictures for your article. Maybe. Resolution on these things is plenty high nowadays. You have a problem? Not really, no. Just didn't know sensationalist food columns were a thing. Hmm. I only report on things that interest me. That's my professional philosophy. Well, is it going to take a while? <laughs> I'm here to talk. Don't worry. I'll be done soon. Oh my god. I guess I'll just 
Talk to you again. All right, All I'm right. done. I'm done. Thanks for stopping by, Yagami san. Now tell me more story. But this 89, which is what Alzheimer? Marcel I forgot right. Kind of strange sharing a bowl of ramen with you. Mm -hmm, I bet. I thought the day would never come. Can you not? <laughs> <laughs> Relax, Yagami san. Are you still working for Kajihira? I'm not sure I'd go that far. He just calls me in for favors every now and again. Helps favors. to be on good terms with the guy. For Fa my job. Favors. Uh huh. It'd be nice to be close with you too, Yagami san. I heard you were the one who discovered Shintani Sensei's corpse, after all. I'm here to talk 89. If that's not what this is about, I'm not sticking around. Hmm. All right, all right. But you'll owe me for this. Yep. Uh, this is why I didn't want to talk to him. Generally, drug development starts with the discovery of a compound that can treat a given disease. That compound becomes the candidate for a drug. They then test its effects on animals, okay. after which the drug heads to clinical trials. Which is a nicer way of saying human experimentation, by the way. As for the uh -huh. process, it can take years, sometimes even longer, to ensure a drug is truly safe for public consumption. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. I get it. <laughs> Before now, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's drugs have okay. only been able to slow Alzheimer. the progress of the disease. None can cure it completely. But Director Keto's 89 proved remarkably effective at doing just that when tested on mice. If it can work on humans as well, maybe we can finally kiss Alzheimer's goodbye. At least, that's what the paper they published a year ago claimed. Interesting. Yagami-san. Hmm? Yes. In this country, one in four people over the age of 80 is affected by dementia. That means for a couple in their 50s, there's a good chance that one of their parents has it. And the odds that one member of that couple will develop it themselves is 50-50. No matter how you look at it. Dementia is an inescapable issue. If I ever experienced symptoms myself, I'd go to the doctor straight away. In some cases, they can slow the progress enough that you can even keep working. Hmm. I guess okay. my point is, dementia is not something to fear. It's a possibility to prepare for. Our biggest enemy is ignorance and apathy. Kind of reminds me of someone. Yeah, if you say so. <laughs> Good. I'd like to give you a rundown of what exactly Alzheimer's is then. You interested? I think I have no choice. Uh, I'll do it even if I said no, right? Uh, I mean, that's the only choice I got. Well, you're gonna even if I say no, right? <laughs> <laughs> you bet I would. Now let's begin. Out of all the diseases that can cause dementia, Alzheimer's accounts for roughly 70% of cases. It's believed to be brought about by buildup of a protein called amyloid beta in the brain. When that happens, nerve cells start okay. dying off and the brain begins to atrophy. Uh. So to put this in layman's terms, waste buildup kind of shrinks the brain. <laughs> That's one way to put it, yes. But even that is just a theory at this point. There's still much to learn about Alzheimer's. And when your brain shrinks? Your memory is impaired. Let me explain. Encoding storage. There are three processes retrieval. involved in memory. Encoding, storage, and retrieval. Alzheimer's impairs the first step, encoding. encoding. This makes it near impossible to remember new things. Okay. I'll give you an example that stuck with me. When doctors asked a dementia patient the date, they had no problem producing the correct answer. But when asked the year, the patient said 1952. Their mind was stuck decades in the past. You see, dementia okay. not only inhibits new memories. Is that true? I don't know. Jumbles the ones you already have as well. Is that? Hmm. Who knows? One more to, from the top. I think I got it. I think I understand. 
good. So how exactly does 89 cure Alzheimer's? According to their research, they probably slow it down, they right? They don't really cure it. into the test mice, it brought about a process known as autophagy, which is autophagy. what? It's a Greek word that means self-devouring. That's what your body starts to do to its own proteins. In other words, all the amyloid beta built up in the mice's brains began to instantly break down. Instantly? Yes. And once it was all gone, their Alzheimer's stopped progressing entirely. Hmm. The most shocking thing is that even brain cells which had lost function were able to recover. As one researcher put it, it's as though the brain turns on a backup generator. If they can bring about similar effects in humans, they'll have a cure for Alzheimer's. Okay. That's right. There are millions of patients worldwide, and that number is growing steadily every day. If they actually complete this drug, it could truly change the world as we know it. It's nothing short of a dream drug for both buyers and sellers. I see. If that's true, it really would be a dream drug. But <laughs> if you ask me, it sounds, sounds too good, good to, be, to true. be true. Excuse me? I mean, the vice director of the ADDC suspected something fishy was going on with it. But when he started digging around, someone offed him to keep their secret safe. Made it look like a brawl so nobody'd get suspicious. Hmm. What kind of secret are we talking? Like the drug's effects being falsified. No, there's no chance of that. Huh? How do you know? Since the announcement of AD9, countless animal tests have proven successful. It's no fabrication. One test after another, they've proven it's viable. Okay. So You're it's sure. working. Yes. Kind of working. Slowly mind, working. We should push forward faster, even if the paper was a little rough around the edges. After all, dementia drugs are being developed all around the world. It would be a shame if someone beat them to the punch, both for the ADDC and for Japan. Kido-san is far too cautious. This is no time to be testing on animals. They need to move to clinical trials and get this thing out. By which you mean... Experimenting on humans. Experimenting Human on... experimentation. So were they hum... were they... Wait. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just... Hmm. Are you absolutely sure there's nothing off about 89? I guess there is an interesting detail I noticed. Hmm? Kido-san is listed as the sole author of the 89 research. But in truth, he only put his name on the paper to lend it credibility. The key researcher was someone else entirely. A guy you know, too. Man Shono. by the name of Shono. So the one I want... It's Shono, huh? So you're saying... Shono's the creator of 89? Seems so. The paper would never have gained such worldwide traction without Kido san, though. They needed a leading expert. Honestly, there's so many names that I'm kind of don't remember. But well, honestly, I don't remember who's that kind who. That thing is pretty common, though. Not really a cause for concern. I don't remember who's who. With this type of. with this name, I don't remember. Shono, what's your role in all of this? You're the creator. New case file. What do we go to? Re re review the case in the office. Back in the office. Yo, welcome back. Thank you. Hey there, Yagami-san. Oh, what's up? The gang's all here, huh? How did things go with Hattori-san? Did you learn anything useful? Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Time to sit and talk it out. Wait, are you saying there isn't actually anything up with 89? That's what Hattori said, yeah. 
This is the first time I'm hearing about Kido not really being involved, though. It's possible Shono's hiding the truth from even him. Maybe. But first, one term in particular stuck with me from my chat with Hattori-san. Which is? Oda. Human experimentation. Human Go experimentation. On. Apparently, 89 is just about ready to be tested on real human subjects. <laughs> well, that's gross. Side effects include bloating, blindness, and death, right? Knock it off. <laughs> sorry, sorry. What's bothering you about that, Yagami-san? Well, it's just... I've just been thinking. What if all these murders were secretly experimental trials for 89? You're... you're serious? Uh. If Shono's the one behind all this... What? You think this guy Shono went out, hired an assassin, and started killing people? Guess it's a bit of a stretch, huh? Even if these people were I guess. a test case, a smidge. Why would Shono just a smidge? If this is a dementia drug, not some kind of chemical weapon. No, but what if it really did have some kind of crazy side effects, though? Like they didn't want to kill the people, but they ended up dying anyways. It was perfectly fine when they tested it on mice, though. If it ended up killing someone, then wait a sec. Yeah, wait a sec is right. We're on the same page here. What if 89 was completely harmless to mice, but lethal when introduced into the human body? If that was the case, they'd need to perform a ton of experiments to make sure it was fixed. Which is why they killed all those Kyore guys. If Shono needs to silence those Yakuza, he might have resorted to use them using the mall. Oh. Back it up. If they're testing a drug, wouldn't they want to use it on an actual patient? I mean, it's not like those Kyore guys all had Alzheimer's or anything. That's true. Actually, it says here that they test new drugs on healthy humans as well. They're the control group to make sure the drug is safe. Yeah, hmm. eventually. It wouldn't make any damn sense for them to start on anyone but real patients, though. But... Just give it a rest. Try taking this seriously for once. <laughs> we are taking this seriously! Says the dumbass kid who keeps spouting tinfoil hat shit about goddamn human experiments. <laughs> the only dumbass here is the guy who can't consider all the possible options. Oh, is that right? Next year, you <laughs> tell me they experiment on old man Waku too. Fucking idiots. Hmm? Huh? What? That incident three years ago at the ADDC. Mm -hmm. The guy who died, Wakusan. Didn't he have Alzheimer's? Hey, I, I think you're onto something. Huh? Think about it, Kaito-san. Waku-san was an Alzheimer's patient at the center. We know for a fact that Okubo didn't kill him, but they never tracked the real murderer down. Mm-hmm. What if the motivation for the murder was a human experiment for 89? All right, cool your fucking jets. <laughs> that happened three years ago. 89 didn't even exist back then. True, it was only announced last year. It was announced last year. Doesn't mean they didn't work started. Research that went into that paper would have reached exactly. Way that's back. what I'm saying. Huh? Wait, are we really on to something? Yeah. It's hard to say for sure, but it's worth looking into at the very least. Hmm. Oh my god, Kim, shut the f up. Kim, I don't give a damn. Uh, who we gotta talk to? This guy again? I have a few more thoughts about this whole human experimentation theory. Mind if we continue? Yeah, sure. Sure. Let's do it. Uh, what's the point of that cut right there? Why just have it all I don't know. It's kind of okay, weird. It's so, strange. Let's say Shono did experiment on Wakusan. Why would he do that? They normally do a lot more to ensure a drug is safe before it enters clinical trials. What was his motive for testing it then? Let me think. Why would Shono have broken protocol and experiment on Waku? Maybe he wanted to try his groundbreaking new drug on a real live human as soon as possible. If it worked... He'd have the cure. And he'd have it without dealing with all the red tape these things go through. It would have saved him years. 
that's possible. I guess Shono mm -hmm. was surrounded by dementia patients. One little test wouldn't be a big deal, and if it succeeded, his drug would save the world. Yeah? If it meant curing Alzheimer's sooner, he might have been okay accepting the risk. But instead of doing what it was meant to do, 89 had a horrible side effect. Death. The more I think about it, the more it feels like this is how it all went down. It's starting to make sense. But now, even though he knows the risks, he's still experimenting and using the mole to do it. I know this is all just a theory, but the pieces all seem to fit together. Maybe. Sounds Going good. Going down that path, Yagami-san, that means Okubo really was innocent, yeah? At the time? But he murdered his girlfriend right after. I mean, that's why he's on death row. Quit it, Sugiura. We'll get to that later. Yeah. Uh. So I gotta talk to you now? No, who would I gotta talk to now? I gotta talk to you again. So, to summarize our theory so far, it all started three years ago when Shono accidentally killed a patient during an AD9 test. But those tests are still ongoing. That's why Hamura had all those Kyore guys killed. But wait, how would a guy like Shono get wrapped up with Yakuza and assassins? Your run-of-the-mill researcher wouldn't have the cash or connections for that shit. But what if someone close to him did? Someone Shono knows who's got Yakuza ties? The hell could that be? Um, oh crap, I don't remember. Um, I, I'm assuming this one. Shigeru Kajihira. Shit. Chairman of the Kajihira group. I screwed up. I'm not so sure about that, Yagami-san. Uh-huh. Think about it. The murdered Kyore Yakuza are Kajihira's men. Besides, there's no evidence of any connection between him and Shona. Smack the I guess you have a point there. Well, we can rule Kajihira out. Who is Shono's go-between, then? Okay, we got the two. Can't be that. Mm. Ryusuke Kido, director of the ADDC. Oh, I see what you mean. Kido would have access to ADDC funding. Uh, that's the that's the right There's one. There's even been talk of him having ties to the Yakuza somehow, right? I think you've cracked it, Yagami-san. It had well, to be you. Kido. Well, thank you. Uh, I don't know if that's really true. Why? Think back to the AD9 press conference. You remember the look on Kido's face? He was so proud, innocent even. But if he knew about all this human experiment shit, no way he'd look like that. Kid's got a point. <clears throat> then maybe he was only told about the experiments after the conference took place. That would still make sense, right? Uh... First, Shono gets Kido to sign off on the okay. 89 paper and publicly gives him all the credit. Thrilled about the possibilities, Kido proudly presents the research at that press conference. There's no turning back after that, even if he found out about the experiments. That's probably how Shono got Kido on his side. He then used Kido's funding and connections to bring in Hamura and the Mole. It feels hmm. like all the pieces are falling into place. Mm -hmm. That means Kido's not actually the one in charge. Right. Shono is behind everything. Mm. Let's say you're right. When did Shono start using this guy? When was the mole's first murder? First time Shono actually used assassin would have to be um three years ago when Waku died six months ago. Died. Oh, what is that? It wouldn't be three years ago. No, maybe it was three years ago. Was it? Would it be three years ago, Waku? Either six months ago or three years ago. Oh man, I don't know which I don't know which one to pick. I would probably say it would be. I think six months ago, right? When the first time the mall. Probably Hashiki's death six months ago. 
And why do you say that? Hashki inching closer to the truth about 89 was a serious problem for Shono. But as we know, Shono was in a taxi at the time of the beating. <laughs> Meaning someone else must have been responsible for Hashki's death. The man in the black raincoat. He's the, the mole? mole? Yeah. Only the best of the best assassins would have the skill to do what they did to Hashki. Can't argue with that. Who knows how close Hashki was to finding out about the human experimentation before he died. Yeah, and if he had, that would have been the end of the line for Shono. Seems like a plausible motive to me. Hmm. So what, everything just makes sense? I don't know. Looks like Seager is it still isn't totally on board. If you have something to say, say it. I mean, this is still just a theory, right? It all sounds almost too convenient. Hmm? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? If Shono killed Wakusan at the ADDC three years ago, then Okubo, the primary suspect in the case, would be totally in the clear. Yep. Already proved that in court, remember? But Okubo, he... He killed his girlfriend right after. He stabbed her over and over. Even set the place on fire. Reeked of booze, too. Even though he was supposed to be dry. Defend him all you want. But the guy's a murderer. That's why the whole thing was such a big deal. Everyone realized the court made a mistake. It took the death of an innocent girl for them to realize that Okubo probably did it after all. Yet here you are, claiming the court got it right, claiming Okubo's innocent. But you just don't want to feel responsible for Emi Terasawa's death. That's it, isn't it? Enough, Sugiura. Hmm. You're way out of line, and you don't know shit. Look, I know I get swept up in my emotions pretty easily sometimes. All the same, I'm trying to be fair here. Are you? So if we want to treat Yagami-san's theory like it's the truth, then we'll have to figure out whether or not Okubo is innocent. If he actually killed Wakasan. And how are you suggesting we do that? Mm-hmm. It's simple. We just go to Okubo and ask if he did it. You want to talk to him face to face? Meeting with a death row inmate isn't that easy. A lawyer like you should have no problem setting that up, right? Hmm, still in jail. I could meet him, but... He can't stand me, though. From day one, Okubo insisted he was innocent. That he didn't kill Emmy. But I... I abandoned him. Told him he'd be better off just giving up. Fine. But that's a pretty weak excuse for not going to talk to him now. If you really want to pursue this case, you don't have a choice, Yagami-san. Well? Hoshino-kun. Yes? Let's go talk to Okubo. Think you can arrange that for me? <laughs> we talk to Okubo try. now? Let me get in touch with the prison. Thanks. I'll be at Gendis if you want to find me. Looking over the old case files. All right. Okay, off to Gendy Law Office.